And when she was 22, she moved to Baltimore and became an anchor woman on a local TV news show. This was 60 pounds ago. You mean you were 60 pounds lighter? 60 pounds ago, I think, of my life in terms of my thighs. Well, the new sister news director came to me and said, you know, your hair is too long, it's too thick, your eyes are too far apart, your nose is too wide, and your chin's too long, and you need to do something about it. He thought Christina Kraft had a problem. <laughs> so, <laughs> but they sent me to this shishi poo poo salon, and in a week I was bald. Just devastated. devastated. You mean they, they did it to your hair? Yeah, I had a French perm and it all fell out. Every little strand. I was left with three little <laughs> spriggles in the front. Funny to you. They tried to change me, and then they're stuck with a bald black anchor woman. I went through a real period of self-discovery because you have to find other reasons for appreciating yourself. It's certainly not your looks. I need pantyhose! She works with a very small staff. Almost all of them were there when she came to the show, and almost all of them are white. She says that when the show expands, she'll look to hire more black people. But I'm, I also believe in excellence, and the people that I have are excellent. I mean, it would be absolutely ridiculous to get rid of those people just because they're white. You know, that's racism in reverse. So as we um, uh, bring on additional staff, you know, I will, I will make sure that there's some black people included. Isn't this the worst you've ever seen? Don't what you hate this? this? You know, people see me and they see that, you know, I am black and it's something that I celebrate. <laughs> but I don't feel that it's something I need to wave a banner about, which used to cause me all kinds of problems in college. You, know? you mean you weren't active enough? No, I was not a dashiki-wearing kind of woman. No. And people were angry at you, your friends? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Why aren't you out front? Yeah. And you'd tell them? Excellence is the best deterrent to racism. I was already working in television at the time, and I believe that the struggle had taken a new direction, and that was for us to be the best, to make the most of the doors that had been open. If you want to see a great video of a young Les Brown, check out the one right there next to me. I think you'll enjoy it. Continue to believe, and I'll see you there. It's hard changing your life. It was hard when just over three years ago in the Penobscot building in Detroit, Michigan,